Hey, it's Lisa again. Um, I'm just going to continue my haul video, and um, I did forget one little kind of makeup related thing. And um, the only reason I'm even going to show you this is because I want to ask if any of you have tried this. Um, I've tried it one time at that Chanel home party that I went to. They used this to take my eye makeup off that night, and um, it is the Gentle by Phase Eye Makeup Remover from Chanel. And this was expensive. I think it was like, see, I think $32. And ordinarily, I would never, ever spend that much on this. But I have had the hardest time getting my eye makeup off lately. I don't know what it is. Um, and I'm trying to be real gentle with my eyelashes. I'm trying not to do anything like that. Because, you know, I'm doing that, um, is it Latisse? Latisse? Um, kind of like Lilash, that's the eyelash growth product. So I'm trying to be real gentle with my eyelashes because my eyes were being real sensitive and, um, you know, I've had issues with that anyway. So, um, and I've tried both MAC, both Clinique, um, Neutrogena, I've tried the All May White, I've tried the Neutrogena Makeup White, um, my favorite is the Garnier White, I'm, I'm trying the Biore White now, but a white is not enough to get my mascara off without scrubbing too hard. And um, so anyway, if any of you tried this, just let me know what you think. Um, I'm going to try it. I figured the Lancome um, Bifacil, which is supposed to be another good one that I used to use years ago, um, it was like 24 or something, and this was 32. So this seemed to work real well that night at that party, so I'm going to give it another try. And um, I hope it works. And the guy said, the guy at the Chanel counter said that it was great and that it was the best he'd ever used. Um, I guess on others, I don't know. Um, I, he didn't look like he wore mascara to me. Anyway, um, best he ever used, and it would last me forever, so I'm going to give it a try. So, um, I got a few pair of earrings. And normally, um, my favorite is usually like some kind of hoop earring. Um, I have a hard time with the earrings that just kind of go in your ear, and a lot of times I'll have that little clear stopper thing on the back. Um, if I don't wear that stopper, they seem to, I think it's my hair or whatever, they'll like push their way out, and I've lost several earrings that way. But it irritates me so much to have to put that little stopper on there every time and have to keep up with it that I end up not wearing those earrings. So um, on Twitter, I asked you know everybody about it, and they a lot of them said they just squeeze the um, the back in. So I figured I would give it another go and um, get some of those earrings. And Anna that I was talking about earlier from the Style Diet, she had been talking about the um, disc earrings, and she always wears the prettiest earrings. So um, today I went shopping, and one of the places I went was New York and Company, and um, it used to be Learner but now it's been working company. It's really one of my favorite places to shop because their clothes are really good quality and good prices. And um, my favorite ones are these. And um, as you can see, they're like a, um, they're like a light pink and then a orangey pink and then like a fuchsia. And I just think they're so pretty. Um, they look, I held them up and they look like they would be a good size. So I got these, and it was, um, if you bought one, you got another accessory half off, and then I got these, and these are more of a clear, and um, see, but they've got that, that same back, so what I'm going to try to do is just squeeze it, like everybody was saying, and see if I can handle keeping these. So I got these two earrings, um, these were $10.95, and these were just $12.95, so they weren't expensive, and that way, if I do lose them, I won't be heartbroken, because I've lost um, a couple of them that my husband got me that... It did break my heart when I lost them. So, um, but I thought these would be pretty for the summer. I really, really, really like these. Um, I just love those colors. I think that'll look good with bathing suits too. And then also at um, Learner, I got this dress. I'm going to back up and show you. But it's um, the shirt dress. It's got like the little belt. Let's see, here it is. It's a tie belt, and it's um, just like a shirt and looking forward to just wearing like a bright pink or a turquoise um, cami underneath it and maybe even some hot pink shoes or something like that with it. But I thought that was pretty. 
Um, so I got that. And I can't remember. It wasn't expensive. I think it was like $55 or something. Um, and I actually had one of those. If anybody shops at New York and Company, you know you get those 20 off of, I think it was 20 or 25 off of 75. So I, I got it all, I think, for like $50. So you can't beat that. And then um, the last thing I got was, um, I'm sure you guys have seen all these earrings, the filigree earrings. And um, I went to Forever 21 and looked at theirs, and theirs were so thin, they were like tin foil. So I didn't get those, but I found these at JCPenney. And I think they're real pretty. They're not too big. And I love, this is my favorite kind of um, back. You know, it's like the lever back. So I don't have to worry about the back. Um, and these are just so comfortable, so I was excited about those. And um, I can't remember, oh, these were 18. So I thought that was a good deal, too. So, and that's it. That's all I got today. Um, so, it was a pretty fun day, though. <laughs> um, I just I needed some earrings and stuff, and uh, I've been on a dress pant, and I bought probably 10 dresses in the last couple of weeks or months, um, that's all I wear in the summertime, so I have been looking at that dress online. They've actually got it on the New York and Company website, and they've got different colors too, like a solid turquoise and solid hot pink and all those colors, so but that's it. Um, if any of you have any ideas for me, any good dresses that you've seen, let me know, and um, I will see you soon, and thank you for commenting, rating, and subscribing, and I appreciate it. Bye-bye.